Good day. Uh, my, my name is Richard Paget. I'm a full professor of the European Centre for Peace and Development, which is part of the UN University for Peace, based in uh, Belgrade, Serbia, though I am uh, from and in the United Kingdom currently. My short answer to that is no, I don't think there are yet. We have lots of organisations and donors espousing good things all about use of resources, but it's all about efficient use of resources. It hasn't actually been aligned with sustainable use of resources because we haven't made that connection yet. And I think that's where I'd like, uh, actually, before I go, there's one more thing I'd like to say, and I think that we have to confront this. We've got climate change, which is existential for sure. In the Paris Agreement, we made a lot of promises about what we were going to do. If you add up all those promises that were made in 2015, five years ago, we would still get 2.9 degrees. If you look at the actual policies and strategies that governments have been implementing since 2015, it adds up to 3.4 degrees of warming. Nowhere close to 2 degrees and certainly nowhere near to 1.5, which is where we need to be. So we still have not understood the real seriousness of climate change. Add to that population growth. We all want stuff. We're all guilty of it. And everyone across the world, as they we raise people out of poverty, what we don't always recognise or say is we leave everybody who's above the poverty level is also raised up as a result. So we get a growing middle class. A growing middle class wants stuff, mobile phones. They want their uh, hybrid cars if they could get them. They certainly want the mobile phones and all the things that that entails. Lattes and a kind of a cafe society, all of which is using resources. That's not to say we should stop any of that, but we need to recognise that the problem of sustainable consumption and sustainable production is incredibly complicated. And in China alone, 600 million people have joined the middle classes wanting lots of stuff. So we're talking about millions and millions of consumers, and that isn't going to slow down yet. So I'll leave you with uh, that thought. Thank you.